All right, thanks a lot, Bob. Well, uh, you've all for, you've all noticed, no doubt, of course, like Bob was just talking about, the recent rain that we've had in the valley. Well, on one of the wettest days this past week, a cat got himself into quite a predicament. Take a look at this video right here. That's Tiger, the cat. That's his name, not he, not an actual <laughs> tiger. He's stuck on a power pole in Caldwell for two days. That was until Jeff Fillmore with Idaho Power rescued him. Jeff is actually joining us this morning to talk about that rescue. Thanks so much for getting up early and thanks for being sure. a hero. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and, and, and that's what the homeowner said, two days, right? Mm -hmm. Wow, it's a long time. When did you actually get the call? I never did. I was okay. just driving by and he flagged me down and, and uh, so we went in there and he was wanting me to get the cat off the pole, so we, we uh, a guy, David Broom, at our office had come up with this way of doing this, and and it works pretty slick, so I, I gave it a shot, and, and wow. uh, we got the cat down. And I understand the homeowner had called someone hoping that they would come in, and in the meantime is when he just happened to see you, correct? You were yeah. just in the right place at the right time, coincidentally. Exactly. And so he flagged you down. Now, it seemed like uh, if we get that video back up of, of, of you up there uh, in... You weren't actually in the bucket, or were you? No. Not, not actually in the bucket, but you let the uh, cat jump into it. So how long did all of it take from start to finish to actually get him down? Oh, oh 20 minutes, half hour maybe. It was a while getting everything set up, and we had to readjust a few things. and and uh, But then the cat did everything that he needed to do, so... Maybe a little tentatively, since he was so high up there. Yeah, but you know, he wanted to come. He was wanting to get on that bucket. Yeah. It was a bigger platform for him, and, and uh, so he just went up there and laid down. Which usually they jump off after if they get close to the ground. It worked out really well, but it's it's really better if the cat will come down by himself. He's a lot more in control that way. Is it dangerous for a cat to be up there? I mean, it was raining a few days, and it's up there for a couple of days. There's there's things up there that would be bad for him to touch. Yeah, uh, I would think so. I would think so. But you said, you know, you were in the right place at the right time, and a cat normally comes down by itself. So does Idaho Power normally do things like this, or you just kind of happen to be there? We do. Um, it's, we've got, you know, there's usually outages and stuff that, that take precedence over getting the cat down. Yeah. But we like to get the cats down. But so, for instances like this, uh, it kind of reminds me actually of, uh, you know, the movies you see, like Incredibles and other ones with superheroes, <laughs> I guess, there, uh, you see, you often see people coming to save the animal that, that <laughs> needs help down there, and uh, did Tiger just seem mostly scared or relieved when, when you guys actually got him back on ground level? Well, when we got there, he was kind of walking around the top of that transformer up there, and that's not a good thing, and, and uh, well, he just, when the bucket got up there close to him, he just walked off, and I couldn't believe how well he walked off of there, how easy he did, so. Had the family tried other things? Had they told you that they tried anything? Um, I, I was told that they called the fire department and the okay. police department, and then those calls ev event, ev eventually get to us, so. Okay, all so right. They kind of uh, team up with you guys, I guess, yeah. so. Pretty heroic, especially, well, at least for Tiger, for sure, and mm -hmm. for those homeowners out there. So thanks so much for joining us and telling us about your little stint with uh, Tiger and his danger. We're glad he is safely back down on the ground this morning. Thanks so much, Jeff. Yeah, thank you. All right, coming up next on Good Morning Live, uh, it's the social network uh, that's almost public. We've got more in Tech Bites.